Uh, hello there folks, how are you doing? It's lovely to see you again and as usual a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also. This is What's For Tea and my name is Cheryl and I'm just going to cook a very very simple beef stroganoff using the three step kit from Simply Cook. But if you don't have any of these ingredients you know, or you don't have the kit, you can easily make this yourself you know, with ingredients that you might already have in the cupboard. But I've also done uh, a, a traditional chicken stroganoff recipe, a video recipe on the channel about a year ago and I'll link that down below just in case you want to follow a traditional recipe. But yeah, so I went on and I bought this online. It was only a pound and you get to pick from four different uh, recipes from a massive library that they've got so whether you're a meat eater or a vegetarian whatever there's going to be something for you and it's an excellent wee app as well as you can see you know you just go on and pick what you want to try and this will come out to you every four weeks but you do have options like you can have it every week or every two weeks or once a month. That's what I, you know, that's what I go for. Or if you're going away on a holiday, you know, you can snooze your box. You can skip it. You know, it's absolutely up to you. It's not a contract. You're not tied into it. But it is a monthly subscription and you will get this through your letterbox. You know, it's a letterbox friendly packaging and it comes out once a month to me. And like I said, your first box will be a pound, which is insane, and that's free delivery as well. So if you want to use my wee link, please feel free, and you'll find that in the description box down below. Just click on the show more, and it'll bring it up there for you. So I'm just going to be doing this beef stroganoff using that kit, and I'll take you through how very easy it was and delicious as well. And just at the end of the video, I got a lovely package in the post from Gary Boyd. Now I'm sure most of you know who know who Gary is. You know he's a long term subscriber. You'll see his comments. They're always very witty, and uh, yeah, often contain uh, the the word mushroom in it. So yeah, he's a big fan of mushrooms, which he has sent me. So if you want to see what Gary sent, please stay till the end of the video, and you will see that. So without further ado, let's get into this video, and this is what I've got for you today. So the first thing I've got there is 500 grams of potatoes. I've just chopped mine into quite small pieces. You know, that's going to help them cook a lot quicker. The recipe calls for 200 grams of mushrooms. So I've got a split between white closed cut mushrooms and the mushrooms that Gary has sent me. I've got 200 mils of double cream. The recipe actually called for sour cream, but I'm going to use double cream. I've got a couple of knobs of butter. <coughs> One knob is for the mashed potato and the other knob is for frying. I've also got one onion which I've just finely diced, two tablespoons of chopped canned tomatoes. Again the recipe called for tomato puree but I didn't have any so I'm just using two tablespoons of chopped canned tomatoes and I've also got 300 grams of finely sliced steak strips that I got from the butcher. Now apparently this recipe is for two people but you know the, the amount of the amount that was left with you could easily feed three people, possibly four if you were having smaller portions, but it was certainly too much for two people. So just bear that in mind. So yeah, that's our ingredients. Like I said, quite a simple recipe with the addition of a few herbs, which I'm going to show you in a wee sec. So this was the recipe or one of the recipe cards that came in the box. So this is the beef stroganoff. And you've got a wee handy tear off strip here, you know, if you need to take this shopping with you just to remember what you need to get. That's just perforated. So you fold it over, you know, and just rip off. So that I thought that was a nice wee touch. And then you're still left with the complete recipe and it's still nice and tidy. You know, if you want to keep it in a clip binder or one of these poly pockets, you know, just to sort of create your own wee library, I guess, of recipes and it shows you how long it's going to take, how many calories and this is a mild one and whether it's gluten or vegetarian, you know, it's, it's very informative. Everything you're going to need and then the method, obviously. Yeah, so that's my recipe card and this is how it comes in the post. Like I said, it is letterbox friendly. This will have no problem getting through your letterbox. And this was my first box, so I've got a wee welcome leaflet in there and then my four recipe cards. The prawn linguine is actually for someone else. We don't actually like prawns, but the prawn linguine I did order to give to someone else. So that's the good thing about it as well. You can share this. So I ordered Thai pork basil or basil pork. 
the potato sag curry and obviously the prawn linguine and my stroganoff and these are the four wee kits that you get. You just add these at various stages in the cooking process. So I've got the beef stroganoff seasoning, I've got the mushroom stock and then I've got a horseradish mix. That's just for the mashed potato. So like I said, if you don't have any of these wee kits, you know, you can obviously use your own herbs, you know, and make it your own way. But if you want to watch my actual chicken stroganoff recipe, like I said, I will leave that in the show more box down below. So let's get started with the stroganoff and this is what I'm going to be doing today. So first thing you want to do is go over to your pan and get your tatties on. So into some cold water, pop your potatoes. You want to bring these up to a boil and then a gentle simmer. Pop in your salt and let these simmer until they're tender. While you're waiting, you can go on and do your beef. So add your beef to some hot oil and half of the stroganoff mix. And you just want to sear this. Once it's seared, you can lift it out. Pop it into a bowl for the time being. We're going to use the same pan with a knob of butter. Reduce your heat and then you can add your onion. I just want to give this a good stir round to loosen all, you know, loosen all the lovely flavours from the bottom of your pan. And then you can add in the other half of the stroganoff mix and give it a good stir around. You just want to soften these for a few minutes. And then you can add in your mushrooms. So that's my mushrooms. Again, just a good stir round. And you want to cook this for about five minutes just to soften up your mushrooms. So after the five minutes, they should look something like this. And I'm just going to pop in my tomatoes. Like I said, the recipe did call for tomato puree, but I'm just using chopped tomatoes because that's what I had. Once they're nicely incorporated, I'm going to add in my mushroom stock. And this was lovely. I actually tried a wee bit in my pinky. It's so rich. Once that's mixed through, I'm going to pop in my cream. And that's it basically done. Now you just want to simmer this for a couple of minutes to let all the flavours combine. And then you can pop your beef back in. Give it a good stir through. And again, you just want to simmer this for maybe three or four minutes until you go and, you know, mash your potato. And by that stage, everything will be ready at the same time. So go back to your potato and if they're tender, drain the water out. Pop in your other knob of butter and then your horseradish seasoning. So you want to give this a good old mash until it's nice and smooth. I do this over a low heat. I just think it helps to get the lumps out and you're left with a lovely creamy mash. Just like this, because people often ask, you know, how do you do your mashed potato? I don't think I do any different to anyone else. I just, I really do mash it well though. And when I think it's mashed, I just keep mashing. And it always turns out like this, lovely and smooth. And all you have to do now is plate it up. So that's the mashed potato. I made some Savoy cabbage and that's the stroganoff on the side. Now this goes fab with pasta or rice, obviously, but we wanted the mashed potato because it came, you know, with the recipe. So this was the parcel that I got from Gary Boyd all the way from the States. Actually, it wasn't from the States. I had a friend that was coming to the UK, so she actually sent it up to me from where she was. So the first thing I pulled out were these dried mushrooms. Obviously, it wouldn't be Gary Boyd without mushrooms. He does love his mushrooms, so yeah. So dried mushrooms was the first item. And this was the second item. Now, obviously, I've used these in the stroganoff, so these are now empty. <laughs> And I also got a wonderful letter from him, which I'm going to read to you just now, just as you're looking through the rest of the box. He's given my permission. And isn't this paper beautiful? So he's written, Dear Cheryl, what's for tea? Hope you enjoy this box and find it helpful. You seriously didn't think there'd be no mushrooms in it, did you? Gah, I mean, seriously. <laughs> so I'll just give you a few tips because I know you'll not have seen some of this stuff before. The Better Than Bullion is used to help flavour stocks, soup or make sauces and gravies. The nice part about it is less salty than a cube and you can make a quarter, a half or one cup of stock as you like without wasting anything. Yeah, that is good. So if you're making a sauce for a chicken breast, you can do it on the fly with a quarter cup of water, quarter teaspoon of BTB and some double cream and whatever. I've made gravy 
with nothing other than a roux and BTB and water. Pro tip, don't bother trying to mix the paste into cold water. Just put it in your pot and it'll melt. Add the water next. That's what I do and it's easier. I use this stuff all the time. The fungus. <laughs> There's a can of shiitakes that are very sturdy little guys and need to be cooked for a while. Great in soups but also good with steak but they take a bit to soften. The oyster I got because you said you have never had them. They're a nice flavour and can be used like chestnut mushrooms. There's also a wild mix too. For the dried ones, keep the liquid you rehydrate, whether it be water, wine or stock, because there'll be lots of flavour in it. Yeah, I did. I've actually kept that and, um, you know, it's now in the freezer. I will use that to put towards something else, Gary. Put it in the dish you're cooking next. Just pass it through a filter to catch any sand that may remain. The New, Me the New Mexico chilli pep chilli powder it was like you were shopping with me i saw this and i knew you liked spicy oh yeah i really do and this looks amazing you can torture your family with this in a chilli con carne or pork ribs or a dry rub or something new mexico produces some very nice chilies the brand el guapo i like because guapo in spanish is what they call uh, good looking or handsome men <laughs> don't ask me how i know but i've been to mexico several times and my ears are still ringing oh well <laughs> I think my friend, I must thank my friend Dorothy for being my mule to the UK and England to make this possible. Also for quietly asking me to bring everything over to her house because she doesn't think I can pull off packing it on my own. She's probably correct. It will be a better job if she's involved. The Trader Joe's Umami Seasoning we are going to discover together as this is new to me as well. I bought one for each of us but look what it's made of. How could I just leave this on the shelf? Impossible. Trader Joe's is really awesome store in the US and they have things that you don't find anywhere else. Lastly, I got to finally open the package of rainbow paper I bought back in 1992 and use a couple of sheets. I thought, thing I thought it thinking it would be fun for something and sure enough, a mere 20 28 years later, I busted that sucker open. Maybe we'll have to call us your pride box now. I don't know. Whatever, it's all fun. I hope you enjoy it and I had fun putting it together for you. I hope it makes there makes it there in one piece. Well, yeah, it did. It was perfect. So from my house in Canada, two years in Scotland, eat and cook in good health and have a wee dram for me as I will have enough for you. You won't be able to get up for a week. Take care. Warm regards, Gary Boyd. Oh, thank you ever so much, Gary. I will have fun exploring all of those new flavours and your mushrooms were lovely in the stroganoff as well. And thank you to your friend, Dorothy, for going out of her way to send it from England, wherever she was. So thank you very much to the both of you and thank you for watching and commenting and for all the laughs. Yeah, so you take care as well. And indeed, all of you take care and thank you for watching and I will catch up with you very soon. So bye for now. Bye now.